Hello, you're very welcome to Jerry's DIY. If it's your first time here and you want to learn how to make stoves, waste oil burners, electronic stuff, and a ton of other DIY projects, start now by subscribing and click the bell notification so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, here we go. Okay, so today I want to automate my central heating system. This is the current setup. We've got a time clock, we've got a bank of switches, and I can switch on different circuits. But I want to automate all of that so that, you know, if I'm away from the house, or even if I'm in the house, I can, you know, just click on Alexa and tell Alexa to turn, you know, the sitting room on or the kitchen, bathrooms, wherever. Um, this is the Alexa module I soldered up in the last video. And, um, you know, it's a D1 mini board and we've got an eight channel relay. This eight channel relay is going to get connected into the system. Two of the channels are going to go to the time clock and the other six are going to go to the heating system. So that's the way we're going to do it. But first I need to mount this box. I'm going to set the uh, the eight channel relay inside this box. This is just a standard electrical box. In fact, it's the same as the two boxes that are here. So I'm going to mount it on the wall like that. And then I'm going to fit this eight channel relay inside there. So it's handy enough. And all I have to do is just mount this box on the wall. This is a solid wall, you know, uh, concrete and plastered over. So I can, you know, drill holes anywhere I want and get fixings, no problem. If it was a stud partition, I'd actually have an easier time of it with the, um, you know, with the wiring because I'd have a hollow behind this. But, but it's a solid wall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit this to the wall and make the connections through the bottom of the box, you know, between the boxes. So I've got a 5.5mm SDS bit, you know, my old Makita drill and some plastic plugs. So I'm just going to put a couple of plugs in this box and mount it to the wall. So all I'm doing is I'm going to line it up with the, the other boxes that are already there and drill through one of the knockouts. Now these battery operated SDS drills are very good. This one makes short work of drilling into masonry. Now I'm just going to put the plug in the hole, literally. It's easy as this. I just drill the hole in the masonry, plug goes in it, and I'm going to put a screw in that now. So plug is in, I'm just going to drive the screw in. Now these Patras boxes, these plastic boxes are actually brittle. You know, if you hit it with a hammer, it would just shatter all over the place. It's not your soft plastic. Now I need a second hole in this box, easy to do. Just choose um, one of the, the knockouts. Hold it level. So there we go. And before you go drilling into walls and whatever, just make sure you've no wires in the wall. If you hit them with your drill bit, there'll be sparks and a bit of crying. Now, just need a second plug in the wall. This time around, I can't take the box off, so I'm literally just gonna push it through the box and push the screw into it then. So here we go. There, I just drove it in. Hopefully you saw that. Now, this is an impact driver. You know, I could keep burying that screw, no problem, but all it would do is just shatter the box. But there's the box on, you can see me pulling on it. Nice and solid. Now on these boxes there's knockouts, so I can just literally break out the pieces and that's it, and I can get into the box below. So this is my 8 channel relay. The reason I mounted the box on the wall is because this 8 channel relay and my little D1 mini board, which I can control with Alexa, is going to live in there. Okay, so I have to modify the box a little bit and I'll do that in a minute. But um, essentially what, what's going to happen is that's going to live in there and there's going to be 8 wires going from here down into my circuit. Two of the wires are going to go to the control box, to the time clock, you know, so I have a two channel time clock and two of these relays are going to look after that. And the other six then are going to go to some of this stuff. And I'll show you all of that as I do it. So this is not as complicated as it looks. Uh, there's quite a few wires on the go at the moment, I know. But essentially what happens is one wire here, say if that's the kitchen, it would come down and to whichever switch is the kitchen, it just powers on the kitchen. And that's it, the kitchen one is already wired. So essentially I'm just looking to override if you like. You know, the very same as if you press the button and put something on. These relays are gonna do that, but they're gonna do it automatically. So here we go. Okay, so there's very little now to make all this happen. Uh, I've rung it out with the multimeter, everything seems okay. I've just three wires to hook up now. And uh, I just set up the cameras and so on so you can see this. So you'll see what I see. Um, we've got 
just at the moment we've got the underfloor heating to connect up and a couple of wires one of these is a boiler one of them is the underfloor heating circuit and they go into their respective um you know relays and that's it so i'm just going to hook this up this is just going to take a few minutes okay so all right i've got that in now and i'll have to put the time clock back on this then so right that's it um so we've got underfloor heating and we've got boiler. So hopefully I've got these the right way around. And we're just gonna put that in there. I've missed it. No? Okay, we're in. Right, so that's the boiler. I'm just gonna tighten that up. Okay, boiler. Now the underfloor heating. Okay, so this is the last connection. If I can get on the screw. Okay. Let me just. Don't, I don't want to strain the board. That's a D1 Mini. It gets fed with a standard Mini USB. You know, like what you charge your phone with. That's what's powering this end of it. The high voltage side of it then, that's different. Now, I have to make a bit of a compromise with this system. The switches, when I'm using the, the, um, the relay setup, the switches need to be off. Um, and when I want to use, you know, it manually, then the D1 Mini, you know, all of this, the Alexa end of it, relays and everything, just need to be plugged out, and that's it. So, you know, two separate systems, but using the same hardware, if you like. You know, they're essentially connected to the same boiler, to the same underfloor heating pumps, same actuators, and so on. Now, uh, I have to put the time clock back on, so here we go. We'll just try this out now. So I've run it out with the multimeter, no shorts, so everything should be okay. Okay, so on the other camera, I'll try and do picture in picture or something. So I've got everything on, I'm gonna switch everything off. Okay, those actuators should have gone off inside now. And I'm just gonna switch everything on again. And they should have come on. Excellent. Now I wired this about 15 years ago and uh, a long time since I've done it. So, you know, I'd forgotten what wires went where. They're all brown or blue or whatever here in this country, um, except for the earth ones, which are green. So anyway, checked it all out, have it all hooked up. Everything is working fine now. It seems, right, I still have to go around the system and, and you know, debug it. But so far it seems okay. Um, now, when I bring a circuit on, it's thermostatically controlled. So although the power comes on and the actuators come on and the boiler comes on, they all go through ter thermostats in individual rooms so that the room doesn't get um, overly hot. Um, I've underfloor heating all of downstairs in this house and uh, you know now I can do it from 100 miles away or wherever I can just switch the heating on. Although I'm on my own network at the moment, you know my own Wi-Fi, this will work on mobile data either. So um, yeah, there you go, really good. Now, I installed this thermostat about 15 years ago. Hopefully you can see the light on it, okay? It illuminates when the power is on. So when the underfloor heating circuit for this hallway comes on, um, you know, it's controlled from here. You can see it go off. So when the temperature in the hall gets warm enough, you know, it'll switch this off. But at the moment, it's calling for heat. So if I go everything off, that light should go off. There you go. So there you go, I've got four circuits on at the moment. I've got the living room, sitting room I call it. I've got the kitchen on and I've got the boiler and the underfloor heating. And that's it, you know, and I can switch them off individually. If I go into, into it, it'll tell me which ones are on. So if I go say, you know, say I don't want the sitting room on. That's it, sitting room is off now and the kitchen is on. So you have great control over it. Uh, the Alexa end of things, quite easy to do. The, the wiring and whatever, not so easy. So, you know, you kind of have to, um, you know, if you're going to go at it, you'd, you'd have to document everything you do, take photographs and whatever, so you can put it back as it was if it doesn't work. Wiring my system, uh, I don't know, it's a bit... Uh, <laughs> I even had to, you know, scratch my head a couple of times and what was I thinking, that sort of thing, as I got into the wiring. But, um, so I'm going to leave it there for now. But I, I had wanted to do this for a long time. And, um, you know, the equipment, the bits and pieces became available to me uh, only a couple of weeks ago. And uh, I got stuck in. And uh, it's working great. So I'm going to end the video there. I'll put all this stuff back in. I have a bit of stuff to do behind the walls, a couple of switches and spur units and stuff to connect up. But uh, that's essentially it. You can see the system working in, in all its glory. So there you go. I'm going to leave it there for now. If you like the video, please thumbs up. 
subscribe down here if you haven't already subscribed if you're if you are a subscriber <laughs> i don't know thanks very much um it's great to see the numbers grow so look i'll see you all in the next video bye for now bye